Well, as Reese just mentioned, area rivers are at or near peak levels. We stopped by one flooded neighborhood and talked with residents who say this isn't a tourist attraction. It's actually a safety hazard. Right now, the river is at 16 feet, expected to crest at 16.1. Bruce Ling lives on a Brigador Trail in Comstock Park. He says recent flooding has created a historic high water event right in his backyard. Yeah, and you have to be careful about having contact with flood water, especially since we're downstream from other cities whose literally sewer systems overflow into the Grand River, and that has to all go by before the water gets safe again to, to literally touch. Tom Bell is a producer and cinematographer working on a project called River Stories, capturing moments like this. But there's other stories too about the river, which, you know, they have to do with the arts and the, and the history of the river. And this is an example of a moment of history. Although what's happening along a Brigador Trail may seem like an opportunity for water sports, they warn it can actually be a safety hazard. Right now, uh, with the flood, there's so much turbidity uh, with this water. All these um, small creeks and whatnot are feeding into the Grand River. They're bringing in all sorts of sedimentation. In addition to that, there's septic tanks. Most of mm. most of the homes on the river are older homes with septic tanks and uh, you know septic systems, and they'll uh, uh, they release a lot of um, a lot of junk into the river. We also caught up with roommates Brandon Harris and Tyler Couts. They say their entire basement is underwater right now, but thankfully, our uh, whole living area is upstairs, like in our kitchen, our bathroom, all the bedrooms and stuff. So that's well above the water level mm. right now. They warn others who don't live in the area to stay away if they can. <laughs> this is what we got now. So. <laughs> but, uh, probably some spots are like chest to belly button deep, like in the roads. But um, I would definitely only come in and out if you had to. <laughs> As, um, I mean, of risks like that. And, uh, Adding it's not just risk, but respecting the waters. Please don't come down uh, to any flooded roads. Le leave, leave those alone. You come up to, and stop at the top of the road and look, but, or bring a kayak in. But please don't drive any vehicles down here. We're told neighbors plan to write down license plate numbers and share them with the sheriff's office if they spot anyone taking advantage of the flood waters.